Hey guys, this is Broomstick88. Thank you so much for popping by. I really appreciate you coming back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a neutral eye super dark lip. It's going to be really, really fun. And I want you to stay tuned at the end because I'm giving you guys a little teeny tiny sneak peek of something cool that's coming your way specifically for you guys. Thank you so much for coming by again and uh, stay tuned. Hey guys, so you can't tell, but uh, my office is like super clean. Like it's never this clean, never ever this clean. Also, I reorganized the entire space. I've got all kinds of fun cabinets. I've got my desk all laid out. Everything looks beautiful. The birds are being quiet for once in their bird lives. Those birds, those ones right there. And uh, I thought we'd do a little bit of a tutorial. So let's do something fun and maybe a little different than I normally do. Stay tuned and uh, we're gonna have some fun with this. So the thing that we're gonna be doing that's a little bit different than my normal look is we're gonna be doing a really neutral eye. Now normally I'm all about the sparkle and the glam and the glitter and the purple and how much color can I put on there before it's obnoxious? But today, and I swear I have a reason behind it, we're gonna do something kind of neutral up here. So I'm gonna be taking a neutral based primer. This is Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which is one of my favorites. And I'm doing the whole eye, not just my eyelid, not just my mobile eyelid, but underneath, inner corner, up to the brow bone, the whole thing. If you guys hear some like whirring noises besides just the birds, my heat's kicking on in the background. It is mucho cold here and uh, we're starting to get the heat on there pretty regularly. Gross, just gross. So for this whole look, I'm gonna be using the Ulta Gilded Gold palette. This is supposed to be, I think, a knockoff of the Naked palette, but it's full of a lot of nice, really neutral tones. And I'm taking Bone, this guy right here, over the top of my eyeshadow primer on a fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna get the whole mobile lid up to the brow bone. Putting on this really neutral, closer to my skin tone base, what this is gonna do is create a really smooth surface. I'm not gonna get any creasing and my shadows are all gonna blend together nicely. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this and get underneath my eye too. The next color I'm going in with is got this super original name, like couldn't even think of it myself. It's a uh, tan. So not kidding. Tan. Step up your game, Ulta. Seriously. I'm going to take this. I'm going to put this into my crease and just windshield wiper back and forth. With that same brush, I'm going to go in with Scorched, which is a deep latte brown. And I'm going to pack this onto the outer two thirds of my mobile lid. Now I'm gonna to start to take this brush and round that shape out a little bit. I want it to have an oval end, not a sharp end. I think I've mentioned this before, um, no palette like this one has the fallout. Just this is the craziest fallout of any mid-range palette that I've tried. It's all over my face by the time I'm done with it, so I absolutely cannot do my base first. Now using just my finger, I'm gonna pick up Flicker, which is that gold color right there, and I'm gonna take it on the inner one third of my eyelid. I'm tilting my head at a weird angle because I'm trying to keep the fallout going down off of me and not just straight onto my face. Now I'm gonna be taking Luster. This is a champagne, little bit of shimmer, more of a satin. I'm gonna pop right up under my brow bone. And I'm gonna pop in the intersection of my eye. Now that I've gone ahead and put my base on, which nobody really needs to see, I just use the uh, Maybelline Dream Velvet Mousse 
matte, semi, whatever foundation. Um, I'm gonna be honest, on camera I look smooth and glowy, off camera I look cakey as fuck. <laughs> it is not a foundation I will ever wear off of camera, but on camera and in, in Instagram, I look phenomenal and it sets so pretty and it looks like a little filter all on its own, just off camera I look like shit. Um, so what we're gonna be doing now is I'm taking Wet in the Wild's Color Icon Blusher. This is in the color Apricot in the middle. It is a peachy, apricot-y color with a lot of gold in it. It is low on pigment, high on sparkle, which is why it's one of my favorite highlights right now. And I'm taking this on a blush brush, and I'm just going across the top of my cheekbone, up around. And I'm trying to concentrate the glow right here. And now I'm gonna be taking the New York Color. This is Sutton Place Peach Blush. Another $1.99, $2 fine there. And it's just a really soft, subtle blush glow right now. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a very light contour and I'll be right back. So for my contour today, I'm using this Ginormo palette. This is from Measurable Difference and I am using the lightest contour shade, this guy right here, on a fluffy angled elf brush. And I'm just carving in a cheekbone hollow because I don't have one on my own. And same thing over here. Now I use these really fast strokes so that I keep the pressure off my brush. You can't dig and go fast at the same time and digging will disrupt the rest of your makeup as well. I feel the same way about contouring that I do about this foundation. So I don't contour in my day to day other than maybe just like a little bit in the cheekbone and the temple. This forehead stuff and like the down under the chin, I feel like I just end up looking dirty. So the next thing we're gonna be doing is this gunmetal gray eyeliner. I'm not winging, I'm not doing anything crazy, just along the lash line. And then I'm gonna take this brush right here cause I smooched up a little bit and I'm just gonna smoke it out just a little bit. That's the great thing about makeup. You make mistakes, you can just make it avant-garde. Anything can be a smoky high if you try hard enough. Perfect. I'm gonna do a plain black mascara. A little bit of emphasis on my eyes, not a ton though. Remember, I'm trying to keep them neutral. This is the Balm Mad Lash. It came in a subscription box. I don't know which one. I have not tried it before. I may hate it. I may love it. Mostly I use the uh, It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and I'm a big fan of that one. So I said there was a reason why we we're going for a super neutral eye look when I normally go pretty crazy with it. And it's because I want to do a super crazy eye look. So the first eye look, no, no, lip, lip look, that, the words, the words of speaking. So what I'm going to be doing is I am using my berry. This is just a deep red pencil lip liner. I'm going to take a moment and line my lips really defined and I'll be right back. Okay. So now that my lips are lined, I'm taking a medicated chapstick and I'm gonna go over the whole lips. 
The reason I'm using medicated chapstick is because it really sinks in and it stays. It's gonna be very moisturizing underneath a suede lipstick. We're gonna let that sit for a second and then we're gonna come back and go in with the NYX Liquid Suede in Oh Put It On. This is a almost black purple. And uh, give me just a moment, okay? So I'm back with my super dark purple lips that keep getting all over my teeth. And eyebrows did appear. Uh, I just use a e.l.f. eyebrow pencil in a soft taupe. This was just because I am an impatient panda and cannot sit still while I am waiting for my first coat of lipstick to dry. So I sit there and I'm like, must touch, must do stuff. So I try to put my eyebrows on in between coats. So this is pretty much our finished look. Let's let down the, the purple mane. And I hope you like it. So, like I said, this is a little different than what I normally do. I am normally an eyes all neutral lip person, but I wanted something fun and crazy. So thanks for stopping by and uh, stay tuned. Got more stuff on the way and the giveaways coming up. What you gotta do? Subscribe, check out my Instagram and more details in the next video.